You're listening to the Riff Chord Podcast. The first thing that pops into my mind is that we've learned how easy it is for people to fall into directive, to fall into line. Um, that old adage that fear essentially will condition you to act in ways you, you may not have, I think is becoming increasingly uh, transparent. And I don't think that the fear is unfounded. I think the fear is, is real in terms of, of public health and the way that this virus uh, spreads. But what I'm concerned about, uh, and, and, and I'm not a, a health professional, so for me to sort of dabble in that world, um, I, I don't think it is the most responsible. But what I do know, what I have studied, and what I have a little bit of knowledge is, is, is history. And you can see the machinations of sort of authoritarian control, I'm not saying that we've slid into that. But I think what's, what this crisis has revealed is how easy it is for stable, democratic, representative uh, democracies to slide into authoritarianism based on uh, fear. And when people are scared, they will hand away um, their liberties. They will hand away uh, anything, it's, so it seems, in order to... Um, in order to to grasp onto any sense of control or any sense of security um, or safety. And to me, this has really been uh, exposed in terms of the way uh, people have reacted to the crisis, but also the ways in which um, governments oftentimes exploit crises. And you're starting to see, I think a lot of people, whether it's right or it's wrong, and I, I'm not sure you know, we're, we're going to know until much later on in terms of when we get the numbers, um, in terms of deaths and in terms of cases and in terms of people that have been uh, healed. But I think people are now a little bit starting to, to realize that the virus is not the only thing that we have to be worried about uh, right now. I think people are rightly worried about, especially in, in places where we've had massive shutdowns, uh, the economic ruin that's um, that's maybe in the cards. And um, as someone who wasn't necessarily um, gung-ho on our economy, I didn't think we were in a very structurally sound place uh, before this crisis. Mm -hmm. um, to me, the economic issue is, is something that I've been monitoring for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not a big surprise. But the big surprise to me is the, the quickness and the swiftness of... of potential government overreach in an emergency situation and the ease with which the populations uh, of these democratic and representative um, countries uh, have, have seemingly gone along with it. And that's the one. The Riff Chord Podcast.